Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word excerpt comes from Deborah Waldron Fry, Port Huron, Michigan. What's happening with the Northern Lights? As I was viewing the Northern Lights last night, seeing so many amazing photos of them, I sought the Lord on what is happening. Never in my life have the Northern Lights been seen in so many places on Earth. Of course, there are scientific explanations of what the lights are. There are also conspiracy theories of doom and gloom. But I've always felt in my spirit that there was something so spiritual, so wonderful about them. I started to research it in the Word. The northern lights are sea green in color, also blue and red, and a sparkling, glittering green. The Word describes Jesus in Ezekiel, Revelation, and in Daniel with beryl, sapphire, sardius, and jasper colors. Wow. Daniel, Ezekiel, and John, they were all prophets who were taken into visions of heaven. They saw the Lord on his throne. His presence was seen by their eyes in greens and reds, shining and glittering like crystal. I believe that there are times that the veil is lifted so that we can see God's glory with our physical eyes. It's always there, but we cannot always see it or perceive it except by the Spirit of God. John saw the presence of the one on the throne as jasper, as sardius, of red and green, shining and glittering like crystal. In other words, the face of the divine being, our Lord, was seen in the shining like green jasper and red sardius stone. It's amazing. I heard. Beloved, just as I opened the servant's eyes to see that he was surrounded by the heavenly host, and the glory of God. So I have shown the world my glory in these last days. It is written this would happen. At times I lift the veil so that you may see the unseen, that you may see with natural eyes what can only be seen by the Spirit. Search my word. See that throughout it many saw and invisible became visible. Many have seen the unseen. Many of my servants and handmaids and prophets saw my glory. You are my sons and daughters. How much more will I show you my glory? Yes, much more will I manifest myself to you, beloved one. Of course, there will be scoffers. This is also prophesied. But do not let the skeptical and the doubters, the scoffers, steal your wonder, your hope, your joy as you look heavenward. Keep your eyes upon your Savior. Look to me. Look up. Do not be afraid, for those who are with you are greater than those who are with them. No eye has seen, nor ear heard, no heart has imagined what I have prepared for those who love me. I am revealing them to you by the Spirit. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of your God. I am speaking, beloved. I am speaking to this world. Do not be afraid. For from the first day that you set your heart on understanding this and on humbling yourself before your God, your words were heard. And I have come in response to your word. As this was true for Daniel, how much more do I show myself mighty on your behalf? I am revealing the secret and hidden things. There is an open heaven over you and an open door. Look up. Your redemption draws nigh. It is even at the door. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I have to admit I have been a little skeptical about the northern lights. Lord Jesus, it's so easy to get caught up in the scientific rationale only. It's so easy to find yourself reading conspiracy theories. But Lord Jesus, we want to have the awe and the wonder that our dear sister Deborah speaks of. Lord, that we would see the deeper thing, the red and the green those colors that prophets of the Old and New Testament saw you by. Lord, I pray that your creation would sing of your praises. The rocks and the stones would cry out. The trees would cry out, Lord. That all of nature would point towards you, Heavenly Father. Lord, thank you for revealing the secret and the hidden things. Lord, may we never get disillusioned when we look up. May we never get, get caught off guard or may we never go to the right or the left, but still focused on you following you, believing in you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for showing yourself mighty and able, strong on our behalf. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.